one mile in fog patches and showers early Friday, but improving to greater than six miles on Friday morning. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel, La Casa de Natasha. Um, and I'm going to be sharing with you guys my potential planner lineup for 2023. Um, and I say potential because obviously some of these things, things may change throughout the year. Um, but these are like the main planners that I want to stick with that I want to use going to the next year. Um, also the comments on my last video, um, I did have, uh, some feedback and I just want to say thank you so much because it means a lot when you guys just like chime in, give me your thoughts. Um, and I'm excited to kind of just like do different things in the new year. Obviously I'm still going to be doing planner things, um, but I'm going to change it up a lot. So, okay. I don't even know where to get started. So I pulled this out because this is my current planner and I kind of, it's like a thing I do every year right now. Um, and I, I don't know, since July, I've kind of had a little bit of like, I, I've been kind of playing around, but this has been consistent. Like this actual planner has been very consistent. I got these, um, matte covers from Live La Posh. I love them. And every year, basically what I do is I make a vision board. So this was for 2022 and it's just things that I want to like focus on going into the new year. Um, I also did the same for the back here. I love vision boards. I think it's such a beautiful way to like, I don't know, just like go into the new year, like balls to the wall. Um, and I just love seeing it. And I've never, honestly, this has just stayed my cover. If you guys have seen my videos, um, this has been a consistent thing because I just love it so much. So definitely ready to do a whole new vision board for 2023. Yes, I will be filming it. I did not film one for 2022. I did film one for 2021, I believe. Um, but going into 2023, I will be doing it. So I'm essentially going to have like the same setup. I may go on expander discs because I am going to be Franken planning and I am going to be changing out the rings. Um, but it, this is kind of like the concept I'm going to have. It's going to be a Franken plan. And let me show you guys what's going to be in it. So, um, for my catch all, let's start off with that. I'm going to be using, uh, this happy planner dashboard. I love me some dashboards. Um, this is a 2023 and this was the you matter in this world. Annabelle from the curvy planner actually sent this to me because I didn't have this planner. So thank you so much, Annabelle. Um, I just wanted something neutral. I, I know I had mentioned cause originally, let me show you guys what I am using. I'm using this layout currently. Oh my gosh. Look, I didn't even plan. Um, I'm currently using this layout. And as much as I love, I love the font and I love the colors, this was starting to bother me. The spine, the polka dots on the spine, like the watercolored spots, it just was not doing it for me. Um, and I actually don't know if that's because I got so used to using a neutral kind of layout, but also let me show you guys the big difference in these planners. Um, right here, we got a long task list. And this is something, the last planner, the last dashboard planner that I had that had this was the 2020, it was like a SoCal box. I forget what the name of the box even was. I don't think it was SoCal, but I attributed it to being like a SoCal theme. Um, and it had this long list. And I, that was the only planner I really ever stayed in consistently. And I think it had a lot to do with this list. So Happy Planner is switching things up and a lot of their dashboard layouts now have this long task list. Task list. Uh-oh, we lost something. Um, including uh, their minis. I noticed that their dashboard mini also had this long task list. So I'm gonna be switching it up to this, this planner layout. Um, it's super neutral. You got just like very minor, like little polka dots in here and I love it. So I'm going to be switching up to this. What I may end up doing because I'm not like crazy about the dividers is I just might keep the dividers from this planner and switch them out or another planner. Um, so 
catch-all, this is what we're sticking with. Um, and I just, I don't know, you guys, I'm obsessed with this long task list. I, task list. Can I not talk today? Okay. Um, so I love it. So this will be my catch-all going into 2023. Um, and actually, I feel like we're already getting ready. Is that this week? No, we're only on the 20th. So this is next week. So I'm actually really stoked to like get started, jump into this for next week. Um, and of course, like probably I'll do my first plan with me in this. So we got my catch all. And then uh, for social media, we're going to be using this, even the stars admire you. I absolutely fell in love with this monthly planner. Um, it is very neutral, but I love like the stars, the font. Um, I love the like theme. Even the stars admire you. I love the dividers. So I will be jumping into this. I love using a monthly planner for content creating. Um, obviously, December has been kind of like a weird wackadoodle month for me because I have just been trying to figure out what I'm going to do. And I, I feel like this happens to me every year where I kind of just like get off my game a little bit because I'm just trying to like get ready for the new year. And that's okay. Like I'm, I'm not trying to feel any kind of pressure or anything. I just want to do what's going to work for me going into the new year. So I am loving this layout. I love the to-do lists. And I also love that I could save the to-do lists if I don't use them. So um, I'm really looking forward to jumping into this for content creating. Um youtube instagram oily things just all the content is going to be organized in here um so stoked for that and then this is kind of where i'm getting a little bit like a little bit tricky um so i did want to have a wellness planner going into 2023 it's like the one thing i really miss having um and I have overcome a lot of my gut issues. I, it's still a work in progress, but I really love tracking um, my workouts. I really love tracking my food intake. Um, and I actually, this is not a wellness planner. This is a stress management planner. Choose where your energy goes. I absolutely fell in love with this planner. I love the prompts in it. Um, oh, why do I already have like a little rip page here? What is that about? Um, I absolutely love this planner and love the colors. It's just, it's definitely my vibe. Oh, I was like doing, I remember I was doing something for, um, what was it? Oh, it was like a little happy planner reel that I did. And it was basically like morning routine, meditation. I just absolutely love this planner. And so I'm going to be jumping into this for wellness for 2023. Um, because it really helps you track your breathe, like your mindfulness. Um, where are the other prompts? There were some really good prompts in here. Appreciation and care, reframing. So I'm going to be using this planner for wellness and I'm going to be, this is kind of what I'm like going into is like, okay, am I going to be wanting to track my exercise routine? Like I know here it says daily exercise and habits. So I definitely can do that. I'm just figuring out a way where I could track my exercise, but also like how I'm feeling. I do have a journal. It's like a junk journal. I don't really share that because it's kind of personal, but um, I want this to be something, you know, that I journal in and sometimes I'll share it, but I, I do want to just use this for that like concept is like actually managing my stress um and also tracking down like my wellness and my activities throughout the day so with that being said that's what I was thinking about using this planner for now in terms of tracking my food intake like I don't know if I necessarily want to track my food in here I was thinking this skinny wellness might be better for tracking like my food intake. Now I have not been like really following along with this just cause I've been so busy. But my thoughts were, because this is also um, a fitness wellness tracker and it's just a very, it's just a standard skinny layout. And I thought this might be good to track my meals, like have these sections to just track my meals, maybe even track like my workouts for the day. Um, and this will be more like journaling, stress, um, 
kind of focusing on that. And what I was thinking of doing is actually pulling these pages and placing them in here because they are half sheets. So this is just kind of something I'm playing around with. I don't know for sure if it's something I'm going to do. I definitely want to use one of these things. I don't know if I'm going to use both or maybe I will, but this is what I'm saying when I'm like kind of on the fence with. I absolutely love the stress management planner, so I do want to integrate it into my um, planner lineup for sure. So, and just be consistent with it, honestly. I may not share it all the time, but I do want to be consistent with this, absolutely. Um, and then the food intake might have to be something I think about. So these are two things that I'm probably going to throw into my Franken plan. So we got these guys. These guys are going in this guy right here. Um, now what I am really stoked about is I'm actually going to be creating my own dividers and I'm going to keep these like regular monthly dividers that happy planner has in their planners, but I'm going to create my own sectional planners because right now I don't have that. I didn't have that this year. Um, you guys know, I recently got a colored printer and I'm stoked about it. So I am really excited to get in here and just make my own dividers and separate each section for a while. I thought that having each individual planner was better for me, but it always seems like I go back to like the standard Franken plan, like have everything in one planner. So that is what we're going to do. That's what we're going to focus on for 2023. I seem to do pretty well with it, like the first six months. And then always at the end, I'm like, let's try and play around with something new. And I always end up coming back to this system. And uh, I wish I didn't do that, but I do. <laughs> okay, so this is going to most likely be 2023. Um, and we are going to be putting all of these on expander, this on expander disc to fit all of this. Now, with all of this being said, these are all like kind of weekly things. Um, I do have a now daily planner that I'm going to be using. Um, I've been loving daily planning and it's been very productive for me. The daily planner will go on the go with me. And this is my Moterm setup. If you guys haven't seen this video, I'll make sure I put the card up here so you guys can check it out. But basically what I did is I... Um, printed out some daily inserts and uh, made my own dividers. I want this to be a planner that's just my daily habits, um, what I gotta do each day. As you can see here, I made this insert. Oh, I love it. Um, but basically I just have out like daily things. And I really think for me personally, a daily works really well as a mini. I wish Happy Planner came out with a mini daily planner. Oh my gosh, I would love it. Because I love taking it on the go with me. I love putting this in my purse, having like my meal planning so I know what to shop for grocery wise. Uh, but I'm also changing all of these dividers for the new year as well. Um, just because I have recently found some color stock paper that I am absolutely in love with. Um, so these were kind of like test runs and now I'm going to like get into the real deal. So I am super stoked to kind of set this up for 2023. And this mini planner will just be daily planning, meals, budget, and just tasks, to do's, whatever I have left. Um, and this will essentially mimic my weekly planner, um, especially the month. I am going to have a month section in here because I want to be able to have my plans with me when I go places. My classic is just like too big to carry around, but I love having it at home. Um, and I love having this on the go. It's been working great for me. So I will definitely make a note. I got to put this little charm back. I will definitely make a note to uh, do a flip through of this mini uh, planner for the new year. It will have its own separate flip through as will um, my catch all planner. But this is just like my lineup. So you guys can see what I plan on using for 2023. I am so excited. I'm so excited to like jump in and customize a lot of things. Like I've never made my own personal dividers for a classic. So I'm super stoked about that. And I haven't really had a full year in my Moterm, so I'm very excited about this. Um, and also just changing up the dividers. I worked really hard on these dividers, 
but it was kind of like a test run, you know? And now I'm like, okay, I, I definitely have found, like, this was all cardstock I had on hand. I, I love it, but, or I like it, but I don't love it. And I have found cardstock that I am absolutely in love with, and I'm excited to jump into that. Obviously, right now, I have, like, a little Christmas theme going on in this, in this mini. Um, but it's been working for me, and I love it. So, whew, there you go. There you guys have it. This is my 2023 lineup for the most part. Obviously, if things change, I will definitely keep you guys in the loop with it. Um, but also, I'm going to be adding, like, vlogging to my, to my, like, videos. And I'm super stoked about that. So this planner is definitely going to be something I, I'm going to really lean on. So we will see. We will see. But thank you guys so much for watching. And thank you for subscribing for all the support and all the love. And I hope you guys have a great holiday and going into 2023. Um... I hope everyone feels as ready as they can be. And just keep in mind, like, you can always switch it up. If things don't work out, you can switch it up. That's, I mean, you got to do you at the end of the day. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch y'all later. Bye.